Okay guys, I'm going to show you how to install CoinOps 6 Lite. It's very, pretty much the same way you would install CoinOps 5 Lite, which I have a video on, so this should be pretty easy. Um, so on CoinOps 6 Lite, there are 45 parts to it. You can just go to the first one, right click, JZIP, extract to folder CoinOps 6 Lite. and this will take a few minutes. Here we go. Okay, that just took about, I don't know, seven or eight minutes. And now if you look, you've got the CoinOp 6 Lite folder within it. You have an information file, which is the games list. So you have um, 500 games on here. There's a list of the arcade games. Kind of zipping through these, but a list of the arcade games. So very heavy on the arcades. You scroll down, there you've got some C64. Uh, of course, uh, one Game Boy Advance. A few N64 games. Some of the Sega Mega Drive games. You've got your Sonics on there. Um, a Sega 32X and then a good bit of a Nintendo, uh, the Super Nintendo system, the SNES system. So that's, those are the games that are on there under the info. Now, just like the CoinOps 5 Lite, this is actually just a touch too big for a stock hard drive. So if you look here, it says uh, we're looking at 4.67 gigabytes. And you know I, that's about what I have on my on a stock hard drive. Um, it turns out you're about a hundred megabytes, 150 megabytes too big. So you, you're going to need to remove some games. It's, um, on your stock Xbox, you're going to need a little bit of room. But this is what it should look like after you um, download it and unzip it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is is uh, just create a new folder here, and I'm going to call it um, Games Not Installed. Okay, and then I'm going to pull out just three games to give myself a little bit of room, and you can pull out any games you want. So I'm going to pull out from the ROMs, I'm going to pull out... this one here, this SS5. So I'm just going to cut it. Go up. And paste it. So those are out. And now I'm going to open up Flash FXP and FTP into my Xbox. And let me just show you how much room I've got on my Xbox first real quick. Okay, here we are. This is my soft modded Xbox. And about 4.7. It says 4.69 gigabytes. It's a Western Digital stock hard drive that we're going to boot into. Okay, here we are. And we're going to connect in real quick so that for my Xbox, There's the uh, FP address. It's going to be different for yours. The username is Xbox lowercase. The password is Xbox lowercase. I'm using the program Flash FXP. Connect. Go into the E folder. Here, this folder is called Emus. It could be called Emulators as well. So I'm going to the Emus folder. Go over here to CoinOp 6 Lite right click transfer okay that took about 20 minutes to transfer it over and I'll just show you that what we didn't install 
was about 180 megabytes. And we'll go down to the Xbox here. I'll show you what's left. Okay, here we are, and there was 180 megabytes that we took out. It's about 48 to 50 left. So, so you need to take out around 140. So it'll fit. So now, if you go to emulators, it's not going to be there yet. So you just need to give it a soft boot or turn your Xbox on and off. Real quick, you can soft boot with the triggers in the back and the black button. Now, if you go to emulators, coin up six light will be there. So it shows up coin up six. So you can hit A. Okay, here we are. One of the first things uh, you might want to do is just go up to the top and check. It's going to say that it's one of 500 games. So it, it just thinks all the games are in there right from the beginning. So some of the games actually aren't. We took them out. So you'd have to rescan your game. So I just want to show you again if you, if you haven't seen, go down, hit the start button to go to um, screen side to adjustment. And then your left trigger, you can get the corner, upper uh, left hand corner the way you want. And hit A, and then use the, the bottom right hand corner the way you want it. And hit A again. And you can scroll through, it scrolls really quick through all the games. And, um, See, there's Garoon, which I took the game and the uh, the video out, so it's not there. So if you want to just see how it works, you can hit um, A under Ghosts and Goblins and go right into it. Now, I have not disabled the, the slow track info tracking for uh, slow game loading, which is something that you can do. Okay, you can hit the back button to put your coins in, uh, the start button to start the game, and the ghouls and goblins starts right up. And this is a very challenging game. And when they get back out of it, hit the back and the start button at the same time. This will take you back up to the, the start menu, neutral menu. Now you can um, you can go into the settings and you can enable the advanced settings. And then you could FTP in from here from the advanced settings. You could put a dash shortcut in if you wanted to. And you can also look at different themes. You can change the themes from the advanced settings. Kind of like this, this setting right here. Pretty cool. So that's CoinOp 6. Installed pretty quickly on a stock Xbox hard drive. Okay, now if you want to um, remove the a few games that weren't installed, you can either go down to them. I think one of them was uh, was Garoon is one of the, the tiles that Garoon that we didn't put on there. Um, you can also go to the and you could go to the start menu and you could just go to those and hit remove this game and that'll just remove it from the list. And it's not there anymore now it says 499 games so you can, you can go through um, all the games like that and remove them. The other thing you can do is go through 
the, uh, the start menu, go down to scan all your games and hit A. And now you get um, this screen. And now this take this will take a little bit longer, but if you remove, you know, if you're not really sure which games you removed or whatever, you could do this and, and it, it takes maybe um, five or ten minutes and then the, it'll start right back up. Okay, that's finished. Rescan the games. And 496 games, so we took the four out. So everything would fit. And there's coin up six light. Very fast. More games. Easy to install. You've got the skins in the background where you can change the skins. Or they call it the themes. So you can put different themes on there. Very cool. Very cool. Alright, have fun.